Hello and welcome to this video on Nisha 09 Chess. What can we do? Let's do the Black Knight's Tingo. Probably we transpose into the Nimzo again. Yeah, almost. Check. Looks like some Bogo <laughs> type of position. Yeah, this is a in turning in tournament game once and uh, got a very, very decent position. Bishop on f4 is normally not that well placed as it runs into a quick e5. Check. I can take with the bishop now for a decent position. No, he doesn't. Okay. Hmm. That looks pretty okay. I mean, I'm... Having a very uh, good fluent development here. Even e4 is a move. So uh, yeah. e4 e4 opens up his bishop. That is um, what I don't like about it. Knight e4 is an interesting choice. Let's do that. Queen c2, bishop f5 looks very attractive for black. And queen e3, I go f5 was my idea. Yeah, let's go f5. Just trying to, to limit white. I mean, he's not easily developing now. Bishop on f1 is kind of a problem. Okay, yeah, it's possible, but I thought queen to f7 here. Or is he having some kind of tactic here now? Attacking the pawn. I'm not sure that I will really take it, but not a bad spot on f7. And still, uh, he's not developing easily. It would be nice if I had f4, like f4, queen takes bishop f5, trapping the queen, <laughs> but. He has queen d5. He's got just one square. But one square is enough. So, bishop to e6, or. Yeah, maybe that looks like a tempo. Yeah, again, I'm not sure that I will take the pawn, but. Yeah, f5. Something like that I had expected. Otherwise, he's not really, yeah, untangling his pieces. Okay, I can take or I can let him take. Hmm. I wonder if g6 is a move to recapture with the pawn. The issue is that I, I, I need to cancel long in that case, and I don't really see how that is going to happen. Hmm. Huh. I can also take g4, just play simple stuff. Let's, let's take it, maybe. Queen takes bishop c4. There's a pawn at least. It takes with the pawn a castle short. Have knight d4. Uh, I, 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 could have play, I can play knight d4 immediately. No, not sure. Castling is fine. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what his move is now. Maybe he tries something. No, something completely unexpected. Knight d4 also was interesting, but not sure that there's a huge difference in quality between the two moves. So just castle. Yo, that is a difference, huh? He's threatening now, but oops. 
h6 is what I wanted to do. Yeah, bishop, bishop f5, right? Yeah, let's just go bishop f5. Or is that too technical? Knight d4 is also strong, I think. Okay, let's do knight d4. Threatens on f3. And bishop f5. Yeah, again, bishop f5 looks pretty strong. Now he cannot take with the queen, it just loses the queen. Okay, so... Yeah, I wanted to take with the queen, but rook g6 is a bit annoying. Now, even though, I mean, rook g6, king a8, Isn't that just winning? I mean, if not, I'm. Check. I'll be angry. <laughs> but I mean, I could have taken actually. Queen h5. Maybe I could have taken the rook. But that's not bad. C1 is hanging with check, I think. I mean, I think is wrong. I know that it does hang with check. And there are some other things. h4, for example, also hangs. So I think I'll take h4 now. Still attacking the rook on g6, and on f2 it's like almost mate. White resigns. Mm, yeah, it was a, a bad opening, I think. Here, check. Here you should take with the bishop. It's just a a good good way to play. That bishop is better here inside of the pawn chain. Let's say like here, maybe um, yeah, d5 or or this one. And this looks normal. I mean, compared to uh, a Nimzo line, he's lost a move, but it's still okay for white. Yeah, this is this is already uncomfortable. I think I'm just far better developed, and yeah. But, uh, okay, the engine wants to play bishop f5. That's it's also interesting, of course, but I was a bit unsure about this. Oh, okay, knight d4 is. Is winning already. Okay, now I didn't see that one. But this is not bad, pretty sure about it. Yep, moves. C1. Yeah, here you can argue if bishop e6 is the precise, most precise move or or castling. I, I went bishop e6 and he played that move. Yeah. I think that's a good choice. I mean, otherwise white is not going to get ever uh, out of this bind so i took it and he took only four yeah that that's the mistake i was already um, thinking that this might be the problem with this and the engine is is confirming here it only gives me a slight advantage it's material equality let's say like here here but of course white is completely in uh, fully um, in the game i mean he has those bishops are in play now, and um, I mean it's a very unconventional position that I don't mind playing, but that's certainly something entirely different to the game, where he was uh, yeah just lost lost I think this is probably just lost yeah confirmed by the stockfish engine minus two yeah ninety four is good. For bishop f5 and uh, and wins. Yeah. Check. I I can take the rook. I mean, I saw that just after I played um, king h8, but king h8 should win as well, right? Yeah. Check. I, I, the thing is, he has check. a check, and I can go here, and now he's out of checks, and I'm still threatening here, here, and so on. So I could have just taken the rook, but that also wins. There's just one. Two, three, 
piece is hanging and uh, three is a bit much plus the f2 issue yeah and uh, here he resigned yeah he should um play the opening differently he was under under huge pressure there from the get-go okay well thanks for watching